Hello friends, welcome to series 4 where we are learning about applications of trigonometry and this is risingpearl.com presentation. So friends here, this is episode number 6 and this is really the conclusion of the concluding video of episode of the series. As we do whenever we conclude the last episode of a series, we really use that as a placeholder where we can share the links and URLs for all the videos that we have covered earlier and also to understand all the topics that we have discussed in that particular series. So for this series in webisode 1, we started out by looking at a recap of everything we learned about trigonometry and we should say that was in our series 3. So series 3 was really when we looked at everything about trigonometry. We learned trigonometry for the first time and we looked at all aspects of trigonometry. So we did that in the first webisode. In the second episode, we learned about right triangles in nature and what is really meant by angles of elevation and angles of depression. We also learned that in most of the real world questions involving applications of trigonometry, that they really come down to heights and distances. Then from episode 3 onwards, our focus then shifted on really solving these questions. So how can we actually apply trigonometry to solve heights and distance questions. We did that in three parts. So part one was our webisode three, then we did part two, and finally we did part three, which was the last webisode. So friends are, one of the things, so I think it was in these two webisodes, the focus was, uh, you know, involved with angles of elevation. And in this webisode, we looked at questions that involved angle of, angles of depression. So one of the important things that we have tried to highlight throughout the series is that our goal always has been to find out a right triangle. So in the context, we know that trigonometry basically is always, you know, in the context of a right triangle. So our goal has been find a right triangle. Now, once we have found a right triangle, we know that if one of the angles is given, so say, for example, in this triangle, if theta is given, and if one of the uh, other three sides of a triangle, if one of the three sides are given, then we can find out all the other sides. So this has been the really the, the most important focus throughout the series. So applying different trigonometric ratios of one angle, and if one of the sides is given, then we can really find out all other sides. Also, friends, I have mentioned to you that our focus has never been to draw any of the uh, drawing to scale. Very important because we don't want to use a ruler and anything else to draw to scale. It is really just a rough drawing. Most important thing has been to understand conceptually what is the question telling us. Also, the second thing we have highlighted is that uh, it does not matter when you draw the structure and the other things on the left hand side or the right hand side. As long as we follow the question and we understand conceptually what the question is telling us, that has been sufficient and that is how we have to approach these questions. So simply establishing a right triangle, understanding the trigonometric ratios, and really understanding what the information, what information has been given in the question mm -hmm. and what is being asked of us we can solve all of the questions for heights and distances.